kind of a 10 he's to 15 still, or he's played, still rising yeah and he, he's rising for sure so I'd, I'd like to see if um if he really puts the heat on ashton or if ashton is like he really ashton really has like a really strong consistency yeah um he's just a very solid player he doesn't have many bad days right and so a lot of times banana will kind of run people over i don't think i've ever seen him show up to a tournament and not get top three yeah uh it's, it's pretty rare <laughs> um i don't know if i've seen it either i can't, I can't think of one off the top of my head well uh, at least one i've been at that he's been Right. I've always seen him hit top three. He's just amazing with with Yink's like options. It's a, it's crazy because Yink is such an amazing freestyle character, and if you just know what to how to flow with his options, you can just do whatever you want. Yeah, want. You for can, sure. You can steamroll your opponent. Oh, and an early kill. No, I'm used to getting hit with that by Link, and I just die at 110. <laughs> right. Uh, really clean there. I like that because uh, he's threatening it even with the even with the bomb in hand. Um, really fast for stock. It's you. Yeah, it seemed pretty dominant from Ashton. Well, um, and if he gets his combo going again, right? So that he likes to down throw on the plat a lot. Um, yeah. Usually gets big damage. Only seven this time. I feel like if Banana May can uh, get some a little bit of momentum, I feel like he can drag it out right now. It seems like he's a uh, kind of uh, having to try and play catch up, but. Yeah, and usually I'm I'm even I'm starting to get scared if I'm Ashton, um, but I mean, if I'm in this per in this situation at this percent right versus the anime. However, he seemed to just really have a lock on knowing what's going to kill him and when. He's not been getting hit by the eleven, right? And if you're running into the eleven early percents, it's a bad time for later percents. And Ashton is just not doing that, so I think he's actually pretty comfortable right now, um, if I had to guess. Oh. Bomb. The Z drop. Yeah, great chase with up tilt. Yeah, and this is this is like kind of what I was expecting from Ashton, right? Is like really solid, putting the pressure on, and not letting very many holes in, and so you end up doing your damage like you usually do. He's doing his damage, getting everything he needs, and he's also burning all of Banana May's uh, options. Yeah, absolutely. He ran half of his left and sword in like three seconds of him having his stock. <laughs> yeah, Henry will do that. Sometimes he, he kind of does it just he wants the um, he wants the sword in hand as an item. That would um, make sense. He can do a lot with it, and I feel like uh, against someone like Ashton, he will definitely need to pull out something interesting to take the stock. But will we see a 3-0 the first game? Oh! Yeah, it looks like it. And just a little bit ago, an interaction on the left side of the stage. Ashton kind of just cleanly got up through the, the arc fire. Um, I think that's probably pretty indicative of just like a level-headed player. He's not getting caught by the arc, like the ledge setup. He's calm. Right? He's not scared um, of all. He's at least making Banana May work for it. Um, if he wants the, the strong ledge setup with arc fire ledge, Backing off. it's not just happening. Um, so gosh, I hope there's no issues. Oh, I think it might be a control issue. Uh, we'll see. I'm, I'm interested to know. Um, Does either of them have a secondary? There is a um, banana has a Corin possibly. Um, it's been a while since I've seen it. Um, yeah, I think he might just want a different um, control set because he obviously was playing on stream last last one. Um, I think Ashton's probably good. So maybe we'll see something exciting. Who knows? Uh, call us. Yeah, right. So, but anime is switching something up for oh, sure. Oh, uh, Corrin, you're yeah, right. Yeah, there we go, Corrin. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm down to try it. I haven't seen uh, but anime's Corrin in a while, so I'm not sure um, how hot it is. We'll, we'll have to see. I'm excited. <laughs> From my point of view, though, I thought I think this matchup might be yours, but he m might just need to give it a try, see what works for him. That's completely fine. You got to do that sometime. Yeah, it could even just be like an issue of what kind of tools um, Banana May wants to use in, the, in his approach to this set. Um, if Ashton has a really strong answer for most of um, Banana May's like go-tos with Robin, oh um, yeah, it, this, is, this seems good. It seems this good is, so far. This is um, already doing a bit better. Yeah. Then just like you know, switching things up and getting a new skill set is uh, definitely worth worth trying. I mean, if you're if you're as, as good as Banana May. Um, Secondaries are definitely not out of the question. Oh, and Callus for the recovery. I think he, that might have mattered in that scenario because I think I saw the double jump bubble um, hit out there. Yeah. Great conversion from Ashton. Um, getting like you know the perfect young link. That's what you always want. You always want your kill confirms to work at like 110, 120, um, and not really have to work for because them. Because then at, like, after the that, you're, it's yeah. just the chic effect. 
you can't kill because you can't confirm. Yeah. Yeah, and Ashen's absolutely good at finding them at the right times. Um, we'll see if Banana can answer back. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, great call out on the back Early air. Early kill. Yeah, pretty well committal. You know, the nice little nice little drift back from the back air. Oh. Low commitment, high reward. This is fun. I like seeing the um, the kind of like I think Banana plays pretty aggressive, at least in like um, when he's he has some advantage, not even like a strong advantage, even just like a stage or positioning. Um, I think he really pushes it very far, and I like seeing that with Corrin. He kind of he kind of did a pin in neutral, and he just sent it forwards. Um, and it's you know this worked out at least a little bit. He he won the interaction off of it. So. Ashen might be able to see that though. If for sure, if Banana <laughs> gets too greedy, he might just. Yeah, I think that's that's um something. Oh wow, great gimp there. Yeah. Touching the uppy startup. I know it has some iframes on the top with the wings. Um, mm, that's also going to be an important knowledge check. Is um, the side B on shield? You mm -hmm. need to. Uh, you, it does not shield lock, so it doesn't give the uh, 12 hit like invulnerable roll on frame one. Yeah. So it will catch your rolls forever. Um, and also like you know, kind of if you're just if you just drop shield oh. jump, uh, out of a jump. Yeah. Okay. So we'll see. It's hard to tell if it was better, right? Still like two dominant games from Ashton. Um, but anyway, it was definitely, he was, he was cooking something up. But this is just like, like we said, consistently high level player, Ashton. Um, but anime is also a consistently high level player. But sometimes there's a gap. And uh, I know Banana um, prevails all odds. But um, yeah, you can definitely bring this back. There's nothing stopping him so far. Yeah. But if you're 0 2, again. Against the high seed, it's a little scary sometimes. So. Banana Man's I'm, high I'm, seed? Uh, Ashen, not the highest, but you know he's gonna be one of the highest for today. Obviously. Yeah. Um, Battlefield, this is Benemi's home. Um, he loves the stage, and specifically with Robin. Um, he likes to do a lot of the movement on the platforms. Yeah. Um, but I know it's also just a comfort pick in general. So. One thing that amazes me about Ashton is that he makes all of uh, Yink's inconsistent asset boxes look very good. <laughs> like back air, I don't think I've ever seen that connect like that. It's amazing. <laughs> Yeah, he knows how to place him. Oh. Herring side B. Yeah, Ashton making use of the little, the little platform tunnel there. Um, and putting on pressure with it. I mean, it's crazy that he uh, he got that up boomerang to, uh, yeah. to up air there on the top plat. I th he's definitely using boomerang a lot to stop himself from getting trapped by things like side B and then also some of Corrin's more impressive options. Edge guard attempt ends up with Banana in the corner. Um, definitely worth going for. He hasn't taken too much for it, um, but it's oh. kind of still going. So, upy upy. Yeah, we're we're ab about lapped. Um, especially if Ashen holds on to this one. Uh, I think I think straight hits from Corin could start doing it in the right spot here, especially 140. Um, mm, I like that a lot. So I think yeah, oh. that's what we were looking for the first time is the multi hits into the th into the uh, the strong hit of F Smash. Um, Ashton rolled out the first time, got caught with spot dodge the second. Um, oh? If you're really yeah, fast yeah. and that Robin gets a little too greedy, you can SDI out of the hits and get an escape option. Yeah. Um, but you know, one one high enough percent, Banana Man knows, uh, just let it rip. Full stock down, nice little up tilt on the Did flat. Just, oh, I thought, <laughs> he, I thought he taunted. <laughs> I was thinking about it too. I think it was probably just a runoff up here. Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> I don't know why, in this game, Going through plats is hard. <laughs> yeah, they're sticky. Oh, mm. Ashton's still pulling out this advantage. Yeah, that's something I, I think about a lot against projectile characters is that, that Tekken place there, right? And you get pick, yeah. it gets picked up by the boomerang. You didn't really have to take that Tekken place and get a hit by the boomerang and boomerang fair, um, but it's so easy to, right? You're like, because if you miss the tech, it's the same deal. Um, so it, it's, it's easier to just focus on getting the tech and then you forget the tech roll. Um, yeah, this is, this is dire. Oh. For banana man, yeah. great upbeat to get out of the pressure. Um, that platform was looking dangerous. Oh, side B. Like a lot. Yeah, and an early great kill. Great pickup. Great pickup. Uh, banana needed that. Um, he can definitely bring this back. Absolutely. Let's see. 
He just needs like one Nair and then he can do well. He just needs to get a little bit of advantage off. Yeah, I think something I, I would love to see is um, how Bananime can make Corrin just as explosive as Robin is. Because as, as a character, you generally think, uh, I personally, I think Robin is a lot more um, suited to the, like, I'm going to ex like just kill you for, <laughs> for just a couple of mistakes, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, because for like, oh, you accidentally got hit by side B, you're dead. You accidentally got hit with up B, you're probably dead. Yeah, and at 189, we need some explosiveness. So I, I would love to see some more games and see if they oh. pull out. Was that but F yeah. throw? Quick F throw, yeah, yeah, kind of a DI check sometimes. Um, you did DI like out and down for that one. Kind of impossible to be ready for with the quick tether and all that. So definitely good really stuff to both players, though. Definitely a really good set. He did better in the end, but yeah, I enjoyed it. It was close. Sometimes um, you just struggle to bring it back. Max Rage, you know, Young Link could have died at 40. Who knows? We might get Regalo and Jennifer next. Key. Oh my gosh, I would 